Hey, party people. Good morning, Krusty Crew. <laughs> we are here at Bricks and Minifigs in Austin, Texas. We haven't been here since, I think, January, mid to late January. That's two months ago. It's been a while, but we're excited to be back. I actually have no idea what's on the shelves right now. Sometimes I have a little inkling of an idea that there might be some modulars, some retired UCS Star Wars sets, but today I have no idea. We're just going to wing it, see what they have. Last time we were here, I noticed they had some old school bonkles, Bonkle. but not just like the Toa but the little like scorpion dudes that go pew, 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 and then the little dinosaurs that punch people and then eat people and I'm really hoping they still have those. Yeah, it's actually always quite an adventure coming here with Ross because he knows so much about Lego. I don't know where he keeps that information in his head, honestly. Anyways, let's head inside, see what they have. I think Ross wants to buy some Batman minifigures. Would that be Batmen, plural? Are you ready, Ross? Bricks and minifigs, bricks and minifigs, bricks and bricks and bricks and minifigs. We made it. Ross is thrilled that they still have the bonkles here. Check it out, check it out. So this is the scorpion. I had this one in my youth and you go like. Oh my gosh. And so the whole like goal of this is that you're like trying to knock the masks off the other people. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna actually do it, but. Don't break anything. Yeah, though. so actually this one I didn't have. I don't know how this one works. I think you like squeeze it and the head comes oh, out wow. like that. Well, that's cool. Oh my gosh, I'm like jump scare. Yeah, it's kind of scary, huh? Yeah, a little bit. And then if you come over here, I like this one, little mosquito dude. So you go like that. You're supposed to put like the good guy in there and you knock off his mask that way. <laughs> so cool, right? Little crazy mosquito. This one was also really cool because this is like a motorized. This is, as far as I know, the only motorized like bionicle. And you can like go like that with it. And the arms go like And then you can crash into each other. So they don't have batteries in here right now to avoid like any corrosion but this was such a cool one. This one I think was a little bit newer and uh, similar thing. Whoa, the teeth, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, it actually hurt. And then this one was also really cool. It was like Rock'em Sock'em. Rock'em rock Sock'em Robot? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy seeing so many here. I've seen the canisters before, but not a full on table of bonkles. Looking over on this wall, they have so much Monkey Kid right now, and I've never seen this set fully built before, but these sets are just so colorful and weird. All the weird like part usage in them. And in the minifigures too, look how funky those guys are. Do they have mustaches? Is that is that what that is? <laughs> they have mustaches, that's funny. It's kind of a shame because the Monkey Kid theme is so fun, so weird and unique, but our Lego store doesn't sell it like they don't have these on the shelves there so i always forget about the theme until i find them here or i'm shopping online and look at that little emperor dude in there he looks so cool anyways a lot of boats they do have a lot of boats here right now <laughs> So we have the classic Super Mario boat. Actually, you know, I saw pictures of the new Mario sets that are coming out and they just look super cool. Kind of in the same line where they don't like look so much like the play courses. Cause I think those play courses were like a little bit rough for like display and everything. So I really like when Lego Super Mario does things like this where it's this little contained building like that. Yeah, I love super that stoked set. about that. Was that was cool. The Dolphin Cruiser, I don't have the set. I have the party boat, I think from Lego Friends. It has like a flamingo kind of floaty behind it. But these are just really fun. I love that boat build. And then and the Imperial flagship. Do you know about this set, Ross? Uh, no, but I'm sure it involves feudalism. All right, moving on. <laughs> If you remember a few months ago, I was talking about this set. I had it as a kid because in 2004, when Pirates of the Caribbean was super popular, Lego's only pirate theme was this Jack Stone looking ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this ship was essentially my Pirates of the Caribbean ship and it was fun because I could float in the bathtub. I've never seen this set before. I have no Ultra idea of what this is. Is that a theme, Ultra yeah. Agents? Yeah, so Ultra Agents is pretty much just like one of those other like Lego standalone themes. Don't get too into the lore because you'll get lost. It's all the Lego themes are kind of connected with each other. But yeah, it was just a really cool kind of like a Mission Impossible kind of like Lego theme you can kind of think of. I didn't really have any of it though. Looking over this way, it's kind of fun seeing this gift with purchase, the Amelia Earhart one. One, as well as the Jane Goodall tribute. It is Women's History Month, so it's kind of fun seeing these two on the shelves right now. Now that I think about it though, Lego didn't make one of these this year. So that's kind of a bummer. I really like these sets. But then looking up here, look at this one. They have SpongeBob, the Bikini Bottom Express for 55. I have a few SpongeBob sets at home. I need to pull them out, dust them off, and like add them to the city. But they're just so fun. I'm really sad that Lego canceled SpongeBob and Avatar for that matter, especially with the new Avatar show on Netflix right now. 
home. It'd be so cool to get more sets from that. And then I can't believe they have this one, the old fishing store from Lego Ideas in 2017. I keep forgetting that it's kind of that recent of a set. Maybe instead of the old fishing store, it should be the recent fishing store. I missed out on this, but this is one of those sets that I've been wanting forever. It just looks so good. It'd be so fun in the city and it looks really good with the motorized lighthouse, the A-frame cabin kind of aesthetic. So maybe one day I'll be able to get it, right Ross? Maybe. Maybe one day. Over here they have a ton of goodies. So here we have the Boutique Hotel which is a lot more recent. Assembly Square that I believe is retired now. The police station and then Ross is really excited about this one. I have no idea what this actually is. Okay so this is one of like the really cool fantasy themes that Lego had. This is 2007-2008 time frame. I think that was like peak Lego, the golden age of Lego for me at least. And this was really cool so it was very you know kind of inspired by Lord of the Rings. You can kind of tell right the doors are in the mine and they're mining things but then there's also the trolls and I really like these big trolls. I don't actually have the tan one, I have the green one, but I just absolutely love this set. I'm surprised it's even on the shelves right now because uh, I think this one would go pretty quick. And then especially with all the hype around the Dungeons and Dragons that's coming out, this is gonna be an Ooh. awesome set to like accompany that. <laughs> I'm Definitely. really excited about the Dungeons and Dragons theme. I've never played it because I've never had any friends that wanted to play it. This might be our time to start. Maybe, I would love to try it. They have a nice supply of brick heads over here, especially the little animal ones. Those are always so cute to see. The little poodles, oh my goodness. And then along the bottom, it's also kind of fun seeing these more classic builds. I believe, what is this one? This one's a city set, but then this one's a creator three-in-one, just super classic house. It's just kind of neat seeing a simpler Lego design. So this is some old school stuff for y'all. This is the Aquanauts Neptune Discovery Lab. Just look at how cool those like figures look. Oh yeah. They look serious, man. So this is like the kind of stuff we did back in the day before Lego Star Wars. We took things from like classic space and aquanauts and how to make up our own stormtroopers. But super cool. I really like the raised base plates. I kind of miss them, but at the same time, I kind of hate them. I have a weird relationship with them. And then on the hidden side, we have the hidden side sets. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, Ross. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a shame. Hidden side was actually, the, the builds were actually really cool. The box art, not, not so much. And then they really tried to depend on the app. I could never get the app to work. It's a shame that uh, I think they only made it like two chapters of, of the series and then, you know, Kaboshed. Kaboshed. Ross was trying to get me into it when I started with Lego and he was like, it's basically like Lego's version of Scooby-Doo. You should be into it. You should love it. And so I got a few of the sets, but it didn't really stick. We got more bongle for you. Bonkle. So, so these guys were really cute. You spin them around and you can play like a weird hockey game with them. That was like what they did. But you know what's really weird about these? These same characters existed before they were in this form and you can get them at McDonald's. McDonald's. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the Happy Meal. Yeah. So they like kind of cool. upscaled the characters and put a little bit more uh, pieces in them. But yeah, the original ones were McDonald's characters. Really weird. And then down here they have some of these canister things, Just but these two are them. water bottles, which I, like I don't know if I would use this, honestly, like a resale water bottle, you know what I mean? But it is really cute and just kind of a fun little detail as part of the Lego set. Down here though, too, they have these gift boxes and I noticed these last time. I'm kind of surprised they're still here. It's a little Harry Potter reader gift set with sticky notes. There's like a broom that's also a pen, a Harry Potter minifigure as a bookmark, sticky notes. Like it's just like a really nice little box. I think it's really cute. Like the box sitting on a shelf would be such a cool display. Oh man, oh man, look at what we have. We have Lego Scooby-Doo yeah. Dimensions. This, this little mystery machine, I think I had five or six of them. It's like my favorite little Lego build ever. I think it's so fun. And then my favorite Scooby character, Sandwich, obviously, comes in the set. I want it. <laughs> I love these. The little builds are so fun. And then actually a really large variety of mugs, too. All these Halloween ones are kind of fun. I have this one, but at the smaller scale. The Taj Mahal up here, it's always bigger than I expect it to be. That's like a giant set. <laughs> it's really impressive. And then they have this Technic crane. I always kind of avoid talking or looking at the Technic, but I get comments that tell me to look at it. So <laughs> here you go. Here's some more giant Technic sets too by the way they actually have a ton in store i just rarely show them because i don't know anything about them <laughs> neither me or ross are big technic people all right so i know what you're thinking this is the brand new ucs tie interceptor except no it is not it is the tie advance from 2006 which is super cool it looks like really nice i think this is one of the first ucs sets to have like the light bluish gray color instead of just the normal grays so i think it looks really nice and yeah man this thing's massive this might be my first time i've ever seen this one in person okay so so they got some like goaded sets here right now. They got the Java sales barge. 
check it out. You got your homie Max Rebo in blue over there, as well as Jabba the Hutt, Slave Leia. I don't think we're ever gonna get one of her again. And it's just such a cool set. I never had this version of it. I had the older version, but I did go back and get the characters from this one. And then over here is the infamous Captain Rex's ATTE. A little bit relevant because of Bad Batch. Don't tell anybody, but I'm not totally caught up on Bad Batch yet, so shh. <laughs> Side note for this one, I love that R2 has all the drinks. He's doing so good. Oh man, look at that. They have the whole trio here. So they got Jabba's palace with my laugh be like Ula. Ula. And then they even have the desert skip up here too. So they're only missing the Rancor pit, but they have a lot of the cool like Return of the Jedi opening scene sets. That's super cool. Oh my gosh, they have the ghost here. I love Rebels. Rebels made me fall in love with Star Wars so much more. I love the characters. All the minifigures are so good. Apparently there's something with Kanan, like his hair was black for a little bit and then it was brown. There's some sort of drama collectible kind of stuff there. Kanan had like a black beard and then they realized, wait, his hair isn't black. So then Lego reprinted it in brown. So <laughs> if you had the first edition ghost, you could have a black haired Kanan. That was the whole thing. Rare. Whoa. Ooh. They got the Tantive. Apparently we've been saying it wrong this whole time, but they got the 2019 Tantive. Now, I feel like a lot of people don't like this set because they think that things are improportionate, but you know what? I think it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then speaking of cool things, they have one of the best UCS sets. I think most Star Wars fans agree that this is one of the best ones is the Imperial Shuttle. Yeah. They're actually going to be building this and this will be on the store shelf here soon enough totally built so i'm super excited to see that in person so this is the people pack a fun fair yeah. lego actually did like three versions of these they were so cool and i don't know why they stopped this was like the awesomest like way to get you know the figures in your city and i almost want to just grab this one again even though we already have it it's just because it was just a really nice way to Get all those figures. I remember before we got our house, we had like a small, tiny little city. It was barely a city. It was like three modulars next to each other. And we bought this and we set up a little park scene. It was the cutest ever. That was the first time me and Ross ever like made sig figs of ourselves. And so this set's actually really nostalgic. I love this. I believe the other two was like, there was a beach theme one. And then there was also a oh, yeah. camping theme one. And we had all three of those. Anywho, just up here, they have one of the houses of the world. It's actually House of the World number two. These are a fun little series, and I like that they have like the flower shop now, kind of continuing it. They have it on shelves somewhere. Oh, there it is. I haven't really thought about it, but that would be perfect for Easter, like an Easter display. They have an Easter egg here, which, you know, obviously makes sense for Easter. But then this one is the rarest Lego flower set because it was a gift with purchase, only for a limited time. Kind of a shame that it's not just like a widely available Lego flower set. And then Ross just put some stuff over here, some mini figs. So we'll show you that a little bit later. All right, if you take a look here, we have the 2023 Eldorado Fort. Wait a minute. They have both of them. <laughs> but isn't that cool? I love that they put these like right next to each other. And you can see like the old version and the new version right next to each other. This set is absolutely gorgeous. And it just does such a good job of paying homage to the original set. It's kind of cool seeing these two sets because this one has that weird elevated base plate kind of thing going on. And this one is all brick built. So it's kind of neat just seeing that kind of comparison here. Also the pattern there is like really well replicated over on this side too. It's just cool seeing the same thing, but old versus new, you know, that's really awesome. So I've been on a big uh, DC kick a little bit lately. Been watching a lot of the DC animated stuff as Emily pans over the Marvel stuff. What? <laughs> so I was making my way that way. I was like, like, uh, I put together a list of all the characters <laughs> from DC I still want and don't have, and uh, it was gonna be like almost $700 just to order the characters yes. I need from Bricklink. So oh no. I did find a few of them here today that I already snagged, so I'll show you those later in the car haul. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to get caught up on my DC superhero collection. So looking at the friends section, I kind of rarely show this, so I'm trying to be better about this. But this set here has a lot of motion in it. Let's see if, oh gosh, I don't wanna break it. Um, how does it work? Oh, I was so confused. There's a lever. But when you turn the lever, that thing spins. It's kind of hard to move it. This guy moves. Look at him go. I think it's this stuff here. It's kind of crammed into this little glass shelf, so it's kind of hard to move everything, but it's a really cute little set, like so much motion going on. I have to admit, I haven't even fully seen all of the like DC no, universe know. movies because they're terrible, but I do love the animated ones a lot. And like, I really want this set mostly because I don't have him. I think his name is like 
is it Wolfenstein? Something like that. It's like Steppenwolf. There you go. So I would like to have him. I'm gonna see if I can wait until I find just him alone. I don't think I need the whole set for that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And then so in here, there's two characters I really want in here. One is Reggae Batman because who oh, doesn't yeah. want a Reggae Batman? <laughs> That's awesome. And he's at 50 buck a ruse. And then over here we have Black Manta, but this Black Manta has a black helmet. The Black Manta I have at home has a silver helmet, so he should really be called Silver Manta. I don't think Emily's gonna let me get another one. You have Black Manta at home. <laughs> All right, Ross got the goods, we're checking out. And we're using the rest of our gift certificate we got for trading in some stuff a few months ago. It's like 167 buckaroos. All right, we got the goods? We got the goods. Yes, and check out these new bags that they have. They're so fancy, fancy. Sustainable. It might be more sustainable, yes. I love that that's what Ross thinks of first. Emily said if I was on my best behavior, she'll take me to Barnes & Noble to buy Lorcana trading cards. I actually never said that. No. You heard it here. Anyways, it's time for a car haul. Car haul, car haul, car haul, car, car haul. Car car haul. Car <laughs> haul. <laughs> All right, so check this one out. This one is pretty much just a Ross exclusive car haul. Yeah, have at it. We got our little baggie there. Let's see, we're gonna just kind of go in order. So. This is Batman. You might not be able to tell, but that's Gladiator Batman or like, I don't know, Roman Batman. Then we have Apache Chief. He, he gets big. That's his, his power. Can't remember what this guy's name is. Um, I think it's like an alternate version of Superman. The Bat Wiz. Wizard Batman. So this is part of the like Bricktober Batman stuff, which is like a really weird thing. And then Easter is coming up. So we got a uh, Batman rabbit and he's got a little, little so uh, egg in his basket. The most expensive figure I got was Ra's al Ghul. Uh, he's like $35, but I don't have him. So I still need to get Talia al Ghul. So we'll get him soon. We got Bizarro. This is Bizarro. Superman. So Lego only made two like official Bizarro minifigures. This came from the little Mighty Micro series. And then there was like a San Diego Comic-Con one, which is worth like a thousand dollars. So we're going to go with the Mighty Micro version. We got Katana and she actually has a Katana. It's in the bag. And her whole thing is that her sword uh, holds the souls of everybody she's cut down. And then this is the best one that I got. I'm so excited <gasps> to have oh, yeah. this. This is cool. Money. Money. Batman. Look at that. Money. Look at that money suit. Oh, God. What a cool figure. So thank you, Emily, for letting me use our credits to buy my sack of Batman. Our credits. What is this? <laughs> Star Wars? Pretty excited about that. So that marks a lot of my DC figures off the list. I still have a few I need to go get. But uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I think I'm like at 80%. So I'm, feeling good. I'm pretty happy. Like, are you trying to get all of them? I'm trying to get all the characters. I don't necessarily need every variant of every character. I at least want to have like the most like famous version or iconic version of each character. Lorcana, 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 Lorcana. Okay. Well, Ross is obviously a very happy boy today. So that's good. He got a lot of the minifigures he was after. And we had a really nice time there. We were probably there for like two hours just chatting with staff like normal. It's nice to kind of catch up. Apparently, some of the staff is into Lorcana too. Which is really exciting. And speaking of Lurkana, I think I need to take Ross to Barnes and Noble to buy more trading cards. But thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much to Bricks and Minifigs in Austin, Texas for sponsoring this video. Make sure to come check them out if you are ever in town, if you live here already, if you're visiting. Check out this store. They are incredible. Thanks everyone and we'll see you next time. Bye. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. It's been a